Ladies and gentlemen, this is Ballet Rain. Once upon a time, we played a game called Try Not To Cringe, and if y'all were there for that, you will know how very excellently we did at that. <gasps> oh, her shoes. <gasps> oh, her shoes. <laughs> we did an exceptional job. So anyway, today is redemption day. Yes. We're going to do Try Not To Cringe, Wince, Lynch, Part 2. Our team has compiled a couple of videos from the internet featuring ballet mistakes, failed, and mishaps, whatever they want to call them. But we're going to try and watch through them and maintain our composure and also a regular heart rate. So, let's go. If you guys are excited and you think we can do better than we did last time in this game, <laughs> tap the like button for a little encouragement and let's, let's play. <laughs> By the way, oh yeah! We have some beautiful and delicious tea and some beautiful and delicious we know. <laughs> Shout out to one of our subscribers, you know who you are, for our adorable new tea mugs that they gifted us. Thank you very much. Tea tastes very, very good in cute mugs. Alrighty, here goes nothing. Try not to wits. <laughs> That's literally happened to me before. <laughs> I laughed. Does that count? I'm not. I'm not laughing for because it's funny. I'm just laughing because it's happened to me. Um. Yeah. What happened? She brought her leg down. Too, yeah. Too soon. She didn't jump. Yeah. Yeah. She closed her legs on him before he could even get <laughs> under. Cause he's supposed to have her by the, her leg. Yes. But because she closed. Her legs, his hand got stuck. <laughs> so this is supposed to be like a grand tete entrenant or entrelacé. But you're supposed to give him a very strong battement devant. So kick your leg up to the front and then flip and switch. So mm. it has to have a very strong starting point with that first brush of the leg before you switch. That mm. gives him that momentum and also the timing. You, he can time it and he knows exactly where you are and where he needs to be. Yeah. But when you lack that and you kind of start brushing and you already start turning before you hit the full batma, like the lines are blurred and he doesn't know when to come in. And then she didn't turn all the way. She got yeah. stuck facing him and so he was kind of struggling like what do I do with you? Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? They recovered well. He managed to get her back up. They just continued as normal which yeah. is exactly what you would do. But sometimes it happens and you just gotta roll with it which they did and so that was an admirable thing to do. Yeah so. Oh, no, no, no. I thankfully have not done that before, but I've witnessed someone who did, and um, he got a nosebleed. Oh, seriously? <laughs> yeah. First time partnering students, oh. and they were both very tall, but she was a girl who had very particularly long arms. Oh. And, and we were supposed to do a pirouette, come, taking the arm from first to fifth. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> she started coming up this way, knocked him straight in the nose, and he had to go to the washroom and all of that. It was... <laughs> Goodness. Yeah, hey, girls, I for pirouettes, you need to keep your arm really, really, really tight. Also, her arms were pretty high going into that pirouette. Yes. Just psh, right in the face. But just his little yelp. <laughs> his little, like, ow! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the guys have to be very forbearing if you're going to be a partner, unfortunately. Both partners, honestly, need to be very, very forbearing, very forgiving. Yeah, it, it happens. It does. It's unfortunate when it happens, but it happens. <laughs> Huh? This I've done not in swans particularly, but I've definitely done something like that. It looked like she landed this way. Yeah. Foot. Instead of landing like straight up and down, it right. like slid out underneath. And that can happen when you're tired and you don't extend that leg as much as you should, and then the leg just goes out underneath you. Yeah, it it, hap it happens. I've definitely done that <laughs> more than once. <laughs> it's it's shocking and it's really mm -hmm. jarring, and the whole world just kind of goes in slow motion for a second. Yeah. As you're falling, the world slows down, but the music goes faster. Oh, it seems like so. It feels like you're being really late. <laughs> 
right, right. The thing is, when you're in the core, though, the pressure is immense mm -hmm. for you to just keep going because they can't stop for you. They can't stop and pick you up. You gotta just stick with everybody else, and that is tough. Mm -hmm. But she was up for the next wow. grade. That's really, really crazy. The only bit she missed was those three on both days. Yeah, she was that's right all. back up. She was up in time. Wow. I applaud her for that. Yeah. <laughs> that respect. Yeah. Respect. <laughs> I didn't laugh. <laughs> I won't lie, that's actually kind of funny. <laughs> kind of funny. That was really good though. Like he didn't miss a beat. He didn't even stop traveling. Like he just kept moving in a circle. Yeah, he did a little skippity skip and then he kept going. <laughs> just kept going. Yeah, curtains are perilous. Par curtains are perilous and the thing is, I don't know why it feels like this, but the moment you start getting close to a curtain, it feels like there's this otherworldly gravity that pulls you towards it. I just feel like the curtain pulls more towards you. Maybe that's what it is. I appreciate the fact that even though he wasn't doing a menage, he was still traveling just as much. Yeah, he was traveling. Because then you know that you just finished the menage on time right. with the music, and yeah. he got all the way around the stage where he needed to be. And it kind of kept the energy up as well. The mistake wasn't emphasized, yeah. I think. He just didn't stop and get untangled. He just like busted right through it. But sensibly, he Sen made yeah. sure he was free first. He didn't just like tear the whole <laughs> scrim down. Don't I know, do that. I know some people who would do that. I know some people uh, who would do that too. He, he did just, good, he recovered you just, well. You do what you gotta do. <laughs> oh, ouch. Oh. Ouch. Oh. Ouch, are you serious? I don't know why I felt my that ankle, in my own ankle. Did you not? My ankle Ow. hurts just watching. <laughs> now the thing is though, like as a dancer, that's such a real thing. It's common, but it's one of the scariest things yeah. when it happens to you. Almost worse than falling. It is when you tweak your ankle like that. Your whole life kind of flashes before your eyes. Yeah. Just because so much of what we do is with your ankles and your feet. Yeah. Like your ankles and your feet are everything to you. You are still holding your yes. Ankle. <laughs> no, the thing is though, when you like roll your ankle like that like your joint like the tendon ligaments everything there that's they put into out. so much strain and that's actually more dangerous and more prone to injury than if yeah. you had just fallen just fall flat on your face anything like that is honestly one of the worst things yeah. for Definitely. us dancers oh i hope he was okay i, I genuinely hope so hope too was okay that's why um cross training and conditioning is so important mm, though yeah. because if that did happen if you're really strong and mm. your ligaments are strong enough and your body is you know capable then you can recover from that and it won't be as severe an injury Absolutely. so do your conditioning work that might just save your life one day <laughs> yeah for sure that one was really really hard though that, that was, was tough that was probably the hardest to watch thus far oh, oh, oh. no no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, that's step. Oh my. I want to see it again. <laughs> he didn't get her quite all the way around, so she landed square on his shoulder. Ah! Usually yeah. when you're in the early stages, mm -hmm. you usually have a spotter or two or three or four. Yeah. Um, yeah just to sure. make sure everyone stays safe and they can support him um, in that really dangerous transition. When you're a young student and you're just learning all these lifts for the first time, it is very much normal for things like this to happen. It's just very important to have spotters. Spotters are yeah. important. Yeah, just so that everyone stays safer because then the spotter can come and grab her. And someone can like at help. least catch his yeah. fall a little bit. And then after that, they usually yeah. get it pretty good. Yeah. Ah! Dance teachers, if you're teaching these kind of lifts, spotters are your friend. That is bad. Yeah, I'm telling you, the life of a male dancer is a... It's, people think that the ballet isn't for men because it's too fluffy and pink and yeah. delicate, but no. they honestly are some of the hardest working people and the most daring people that you yeah. would ever meet. It takes a sort of a very, not sacrificial, but sort of mentality. Sort of, yeah, for sure. To, to be able to do that, which maybe is why it's very rare to have a male dancer. Yeah. You know, that's a really quality partner and a good dancer. And that stays in the art, in yeah. that art for a long time, because it takes a very special kind of person yeah to become sure. a dancer beautiful nice oh oh no 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 no
okay? Oh, um, if it hadn't laughed at the end, I would have been so oh. scared. It was a beautiful lift. It was, yeah, it was a beautiful lift, but I think he threw her, and I think she was too far backwards, so she started coming down. Yeah, too over close his, over him. Over him. And I, I'm glad they're okay. Her little scream at the end was yeah. priceless. I need to see that again. Yeah, oh my god. Oh, she let it. She, oh, she twisted yeah. in the air. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. It's so it's so hard when you're in the air. Someone could just be whistling, and you like turn 180 <laughs> degrees, <laughs> just like when you're like, what? what? That's what it feels like, though. It does feel like that. Yeah, absolutely. It has to be very, very carefully balanced. It's very calculated. They look like they are professional, like really, really great dancers mm -hmm. but mistakes happen to everyone from the lowest level to the highest level there will inevitably be some kind of quote unquote fail if you can learn to accept mistakes happen then mm -hmm. you'll have a happier life yeah and it's definitely important to have an environment where mistakes are tolerated okay. and accepted and taken as a constructive part of learning yes for it sure it definitely helps i really think we flinch for every single one thus far you're right, we're not doing very good, are we? To our team members, you picked some really, really, really painful ones. Yeah. Is this yeah. sabotage? Maybe. off that foot. That is really, really funny. That's not a flinch, was it? I don't think that we was We laughed, we reacted. No, it wasn't a flinch. It wasn't a flinch. Ah, uh, capes. Capes are so cumbersome. And dancing with props, as anyone who's danced with props will be able to tell you, a prop is like, it's like a partner, but more finicky and more temperamental. Yeah. And that's what props are. Yeah. And capes and any kind of finicky costume, whatever. That, that's just props. Props. That's props. <laughs> that's funny, props though. to him. <laughs> props to him. <laughs> oh, the oh, the I flowers see the stuck flowers on her. Flowers on. Oh. Uh, I'm yeah. telling you, props, props, y'all. So temperamental. <laughs> okay, oh, there we go. Now we're, we're free. Oh, nice. Look at that. Oh, that was really smart. That is absolute professionalism. That is yeah. exactly how you should have handled that situation. Absolutely. If there's a prop where it should not be, and if it's just having a little bit of a meltdown or something on stage all by itself, <laughs> it is actually the wisest thing to do. If you are at all able to get rid of it, mm -hmm. you do it. Whether you have to kick it, pick it up like these two did. You just want to get it out of the way so that the dancing can continue as seamlessly as possible yeah. without being too disruptive. Yeah. Also because if it stays on the stage, there's the chance that someone might step on it, slip on it, and fall. It's dangerous. You don't want to cause any more injuries, so mm -hmm. if at all possible, take the props off the stage if they are there falling or yes. sticking to anybody. That was really smart. It was smart. Those two did a very, very, very good job. And Natalia, she did a really good job. If something does happen that's not fatal, you just keep going as if mm -hmm. it's part of the dance, yeah. part of the piece. Good job. That very was well an amazing display of teamwork. We are failing at this ballet field. Game. I don't know what I was thinking. Our team members were feeling savage today and Obviously. decided to give us the very hardest ballet field, I guess. We'll blame it on them, not us. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing better comparatively. Yeah, we're doing better. These ones are just harder. These They're are just, just harder. Way harder. <laughs> Good save. Oh. Oh. Yep, the headpiece. I'm telling y'all, props. Props, y'all. <laughs> That, no, that lift is very hard. The press lift. It's uh, very, very hard. Go back though. It took him a long time to even get a hold of her, I feel like. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so every second counts for lifts like these. And mm -hmm. 
he, the first thing he did was like a hand fumble. He like went the wrong way. Then he had to like flip around, oh. and then he was like struggling to get back into yeah. you know an appropriate position to press her. And then after that, it was just momentum was gone. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If you lose the momentum, it's gone. You lose the lift. The most amazing part is that they still managed to make it happen. Yeah, but I'm glad he did because Le Corsair, how did it? This is like the nice. climax of the music. So that lift is like the picture you have yeah. like on the front cover. This mm -hmm. is like your cover photo. Mm -hmm. So this is important. I'm really genuinely impressed Me because because that is saving a lift is harder than doing a lift yeah you know it really is yeah. it's very very hard and it's a hard lift to begin with mm -hmm. but to save it the yeah. way he did she but also for her i commend her for not giving up on him yes she stayed in her arabesque and let him figure it out she didn't try to come down or like abort mission. She really just let him yeah. do his thing mm -hmm. and it eventually worked out. But can you imagine if she had like just, just relaxed, relaxed and, and dropped? Yeah, yeah, like that would, it, it, they would have, they would have lost it yeah. at that point. But yeah, they did a good job. Mm -hmm. They did a really good job. Yes. <laughs> So sudden i didn't see that coming that was so fast it was like kabam and like oh can you see that? yeah hold up what happened oh. i she thought started... that was the mistake <laughs> like, she lost her spot yeah. she started getting tired so she kept it all up here in her chest mm -hmm. and that throws your balance backwards yeah yeah and then she fell backwards if you can see her head she started like holding back see she's not spotting anymore yeah at that moment, she had a little like a little bit, yeah, going backwards, and it's natural and it's very, very common, especially mm -hmm. for students. Yeah, when you start getting tired. Yeah, actually, professionals in general, yeah, we tend true. to like pull back or like hold it all up here. You lose your spot, and then yeah, I, I mean, thought that was the mistake. I, I, I know. Was like, oh, I that wasn't so bad. That, that wasn't bad. Yeah. But she has some beautiful fuentes going. No? She was doing good. Was nice and clean. Good job, girl. Oh dear. I don't even know what to say. That looked so beautiful. Uh, the moment I saw people running backwards, I knew <laughs> something is gonna happen. Oh my. Oh, God. ouch. But they got it. They were like, I love sorry, that little, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you follow the stage rules. Stage left always goes over stage right. That's gotta hurt though. Yeah, that did not look happy we do our best to avoid traffic jams but we do our best but it doesn't always happen yeah but, um, no they good job for them to keep going they like, checked on each other uh, yeah that was cute <laughs> that was really cute i mean like, <laughs> my bad <laughs> my bad you good i'm good let's go <laughs> A little too eager to get into the wing. <laughs> like, I'm done! <laughs> oh. oh! Oh my god, one more, my time, one more time, one more time, one more time, one more time. That is the worst feeling. I've actually... <laughs> I've actually recently done that. <laughs> Oh, it's yes. the worst feeling though because this is at the very end of the pot de deux. Yeah. And Diane and Action, if you'll know, it's a very, very challenging pot de deux. Challenging solos, challenging coda. And at the end of all that, I imagine he did a great job. And at the very end, you just like you want to land strong. right. You just need to just get off the stage at that point. Yeah. Just yeah. get off the stage. Make it uh, like a statement. Yeah. It happens way too much. Often. Big jumps, you have to be thinking ahead. Mm. You think about where you're landing more so than about the jump itself. I just appreciate that he didn't lose the momentum. Like he yeah, jumped, yeah, he went down, like, he just kept going. Just kept. Same speed, same <laughs> velocity, same drive. It's like, I'm done, I'm finishing, I don't care. You can't drag me back onto the stage. I'm leaving. All right, 
Can we get a round of applause for all the dancers we got to watch today? What was really good to see is that a lot of these dancers, when they recover, they were still laughing. Yeah. And I think that it's a very good outlook to have on life. We should yeah, learn a lot sure. from these dancers. Uh -huh. We can really learn a lot from, not just from their mistakes, but from the way they dealt with it. Yeah. And I'm, I really admire the way they can just laugh at themselves because sure, there are things you could have done in hindsight to stop it from happening. Of course, it always is. the fact that it happened, I mean, it happened. You take it as it comes and you just gotta roll with it, laugh with, with each other about our mistakes. I think that's the one thing that every single person has in common. We all make mistakes. Yeah. And I think if we can, you know, learn to help each other brush it off in a positive way, then yeah. that's something that we can all benefit from. Yes. Hit the like button for these amazing, amazing dancers that showed us their amazing mistakes and their amazing recoveries. Yes. <laughs> if we have any brave souls that would love to share your experience, if you want, if you have a video or a recording of a, your personal, your personal ballet fails yeah, <laughs> that you would love to share with us, you can email it to us or send it to us. We have our email in the description. You never know, it might make it into the next video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to our channel because we post a lot of videos like this. And if you have a friend that maybe is taking themselves a little too seriously and needs to learn how to laugh at their mistakes, send them this video. <laughs> <laughs> I think that is all from us for now. This is Ballet Rain signing off. Until the next video. Bye.